Hello friends, my name is Sanjay Lakhanpal and in today's uh, video we are going to learn how to create uh, external tables and query data from these external tables in a snowflake. So before uh, jumping to the practical uh, lab where we are going to create the external table and then query the data from the external table, uh, we should uh, first understand like what external tables are. So basically in Snowflake, there are two types of uh, tables. One is an internal table and another is an external table. In internal table, data is stored in a database itself. All the data resides in database itself. However, in external table, it's not the case. In external table, data is stored in files in external set, which means we can store data either in a S3 or in a Azure storage or in a Google storage, and we can directly query the data from there itself. We need not to insert the data into the database. In external tables, the table that we create in a snowflake stores only the file level metadata information like file name, the version of the file, the identifier, and other related properties. These external tables, they are read-only, which means we cannot do any DML operations on these external tables. We can't update any record. We can't delete any record. These external tables can be used only to query the data. We can execute a select statement on these tables. We can use these tables while doing a join operations, which means if we have to uh, do a join between any two tables, in, uh, in such case like uh, one is an internal table, another is an external table, we can use these external tables for join conditions. However, views can be created against these external table. Since these are external tables, querying or selecting, executing a select statement against these external table is a bit slow in comparison to the tables or I'll say in comparison to the native internal tables. However, we can create a materialized view on these external tables, which will help in improving the performance of these external tables. So let's uh, jump to a demo session lab where we are going to create a stage and external table, and then we are going to query the data from these external tables. First, log into your Snowflake account using your credentials. Under that, create a, a one database if you have not already created. For creating a database, how to create a database, I have another video uploaded on my channel. So subscribe to my channel and uh, have a look in that video, how to create external tables. Once we have a databases, uh, database created in my Snowflake account, like uh, I have a one insurance database that is uh, that I have already created. Click on the insurance database. Under this insurance database, click on the stages. Here, once you get into this page, click on a create. Now here we have a four options. We can uh, either uh, create a stage based on a Snowflake managed stage, or we can use a S3 bucket for creating a st uh, stage, as well as uh, Microsoft Azure also we can use, and Google we can also use. In my case, I have a S3 bucket, which is on a AWS, and already I have uploaded a data for a customer CSV in my bucket. My bucket name is insurance202. 
So I'll choose S3 bucket here and I'll click next. Here I have to give the name of our external storage that I want to give my to my stage. Let's give an, uh, any stage, any name, my test stage. Then I have to select the schema under which I want to create my stage. So right now I have uh, two schemas with me, public and transaction. So I'll select transaction here. And here I'll give a S3 bucket URL, which is S3202. Then we have to give the AWS key ID and uh, AWS secret key based on your account. Once we give these uh, properties, just click on a finish button and it will create a external, uh, it will create a stage in your Snowflake account. So already I have a one uh, stage created in my Snowflake account and it's pointing to a S3 insurance 202. So let's move to a worksheet click on the worksheet tab here and now we have to create an external story uh, table here so before uh, creating an external table let me show you what all files i have in my stage list at that list insurance so here we, we got an error, the session does not have any current database, use called database. So there are two options, either I can execute a query, use insurance, My mistake R A N C E I N Z U S U R A N C E. So now you see here earlier uh, there was no database mentioned. So now this has come up with my current database. Since I'm using up, uh, I have created a stage in a transaction schema. So what I have to do, I have to just click here and under schema tab, I have to click on a transaction. So this will set my current uh, transaction uh, schema as a transaction in my current session. So now we'll create a external table. And uh, as you can see in my uh, screen, already I have a SQ, uh, SQL statement written which will create a external table. The table name is a customer and this is the syntax that we need to assign values from a CSV file to a attribute that we are going to create in an external table. Okay and here I have given the name of my uh, stage that I have created in my database which is insurance and uh, since my file is a CSV file so I have given a CSV and another option is a auto refresh. So by setting a auto refresh it means whenever there is an update in a CSV file it will automatically get refreshed here. Okay then the last property is a file format where the type is a CSV and I have to define the file field delimiter here which is comma in my CSV file. Since in my CSV file, the first row is a header which contains the attribute names. So I have given a skip header equal to one so that the first row can be skipped. So now I will execute this statement. And this will create a external table in my Snowflake database, which is insurance. So as you can see, I got a status 
table customer one successfully created. Now let's query this table and see if we get a data from this uh, external table or not. So we'll execute this query. Select. I have given the attribute names here to so that uh, the format uh, the data will come in a formatted way. So now see. We got the results from the CSV file and uh, the data actually is residing in a S3 bucket. It's not uh, stored in uh, in my insurance database. So data is stored externally, but I can't do any kind of a updation, deletion or any kind of a DML operation on this. So thank you friends uh, for watching this video. For more information about uh, Snowflake uh, topics, please subscribe my channel, which I have given in my in a comment box. Thank you, friends.